Hello and welcome to Dart tutorial. In this video, you will learn about static in Dart. With the help of static keyword, you can share the variable or method across all the instances of a class. It is also used for memory management. I will share my screen and let's see a practical demo of static in Dart. Okay, here you can see if you want to define a variable or method that is shared by all the instances of a class you can use static keyword static members member means static variable and methods are access using the class name you can just write class name dot variable name or class name dot method name to access it it is used for memory management okay it is also used for memory management i'll show you how it is uh, use uh, for memory management okay now let's move forward how you can work with that static variable you can create a static variable and you can also create a static method first first let's uh, talk about that static variable okay i will just create one class that is simple okay and i will create a static and I will set the planet. Okay, I need to write a data type also, a string planet equal to, I'll say earth. Okay. Okay, let me create one method. First, let me create main method. How I uh, print the value of this planet, that is earth. By, if I create object of it, thus, simple s is equal to simple and if i print s dot planet then this is not possible if i remove static then this is possible but in static this is not possible okay okay how you can print the value of this planet just you need to write class name our class name is simple okay and then write this variable name okay that is planet if i run this program that simple dot dot here you can see auth got printed okay you can also change the value of static from anywhere if i change the value of planet to simple dot planet to mass then this will print mass okay this will change the value of this planet okay and if i have another method display display that will also display simple dot planet and if i call the display method here then it will also print mass okay not the old value it will uh, it will always print the updated value okay uh, this can be dangerous in some situation okay according to the situation you need to act okay uh, static is uh, generally used to store the database information you can uh, store the database information that is used across all the class you can share the same thing uh, to everywhere okay now let's move forward okay here you can see how to declare a static variable in that here is class class name and static data type and variable name we have already done this one and how to initialize the value you can just write equal to and give the value and how to access the value you can just write class name dot variable name to, to uh, access the static variable okay and here is one example employee and uh, the count for uh, employee is zero at the beginning and why here is constructor while we create object of employee then it will increase the count by one okay and here is one method total employee which will display the total employee let's do this example okay now i will create another class first i will create another file and let me create another class employee and I will say static integer count 
equal to zero. I'll set the value zero and let me create constructor and I will say count plus plus. Okay, this is constructor. Okay, and let me create a method display void display print total employee is dollar employee dot count okay now let me create a main method void main and let me create three employee object okay employee e1 is equal to employee employee e2 and e3 is equal to employee okay e2 and e3 now this is fine okay now if i call employee dot display okay okay uh, okay i'll just say e3 dot display okay if i run this one and that i'll say emp dot that okay total employee is three okay and if i say e2 dot display then it will also give the result as three okay and you can also make method static okay if you create the static method then you can easily access just write print and employee dot display okay just write this method okay there is some issue okay this display method already display the result we do not need to display the result okay employee this dot display if i run this one here you can see total employee is three got printed in this way you can create a static variable as well as a static method and you can easily access a static variable and a static method by class name dot static variable or class name dot static method okay and uh, here you can see another example here uh, the class name is student okay let's do this example also i'll create a new file and student dot that i'll create a class student okay let's say student has a string first name and a string last name and integer is and a string school name okay now let me create constructor void or uh, student this dot first name this dot last name this dot is this dot school name okay okay now let me create a method display to display the information okay void display i'll say print full name is first name and last name age is age is is and then school name is is school name okay okay now this is fine okay now i will also print the line just one line okay let me create three object of a student okay in the main method i'll create a main method okay now let me create three object of a student a student s1 is equal to a student i need to pass first name that is june last name that is doe is that is 25 school name that is diamond school okay i'll create a three object s2 s3 
and I will say Harry, Sarman and age is 25 or 24 and 22 that is Simadwe. Okay. Here you can see June, the school name of June is Diamond School. Harry school name is Diamond School. Sima school name is Diamond School. Because generally uh, in the same school, uh, all the uh, students school name is uh, that school name. That is not different. So why we can, uh, why, why we are creating this one? And this one, this one multiple times. We can just create one static variable and you can easily access. Okay. Okay. Now let me write S1. Okay. Let me call the method S1 dot display. Okay. S1 dot display. S2 dot display. S3 dot display. Okay. You can just create a static variable for this diamond school and use the display method okay i'll just run this file dot student dot dot okay okay here you can see full name is john doe age is 25 school name is diamond school we are repeating the diamond school multiple times if the school has 700 students then uh, we need to repeat this diamond school 700 times okay what is the solution just write static and make it just initialize the value here and i will remove this one okay and then school name is you can say student dot school name okay student dot school name now this is fine okay i need to remove the all the school name okay now if i run this program here you can see the same result okay and if i want to change the school name if i change the school name here then it will affect in all of the student okay in this way you can use a static keyword okay now uh, let's move forward that is static method you can also create a static method okay just write static before the method uh, return type okay now let's uh, learn a static method i'll create one static method that will print the age of person okay just i will say class age calculator okay and i will create a static method a static calculate a static void i will say calculate and i will pass integer both here okay and i'll say okay let me find the date current date mm, okay i'll say date date time in that let's find the date okay date time dot now this helps us to find the current date mm, okay integer current year equal to date time dot now dot year okay integer age equal to current year minus bot year okay i'll just print age is dollar is or you can also return the value okay if you return the value then you need to write here integer okay and return is okay now this is the static method which is responsible to calculate the person is okay now 
let me create a main method just i will create a new file main dot that okay i will say void main and what if i want to calculate age of age calculator dot calculate i want to calculate age of a person whose birth year is 1997 okay I need to integer is equal to this one because this will return some value I'll print is here okay if I run this program then this will print that main dot that this will print 25 okay in this way you can use the static method and you can use multiple times okay just write this one and you can use it use it multiple times this is very important for the software developers i hope you understood the concept of static and here is uh, simple interest class uh, with uh, static method calculate interest this will help uh, help us to calculate the simple interest and here is another example of static method which will generate a random password you can try uh, this on your own or you can just uh, copy this code and run or observe the code on your computer and here are some key points to remember a static member are ac accessed using the class name just write class name dot variable name or method name all the instance of the class share the static member i hope you learned about static in that if you have any question then comment down below thank you so much for watching this video up to the very end i will see you in the next video thank you